This is Shelley Craft. We're coming to you live on SNN Live. We're on location at the 2012 ISEEE International Stock Exchange Executives Emeriti here in Madeira, Portugal. With me is Michel Miquil, the former CEO of the Luxembourg Stock Exchange. Michel, welcome to SNN Live. Thank you for coming. It's good to have you. Question, what did you speak about over the lunch? Well, I spoke about competitive developments at European exchanges and in particular I tried to figure out what the competition was from the new trading venues like the Betz, Shayex uh, and the like Turquoise. And what did you come to the conclusion of? Well, that is a very difficult situation in Europe. I mean, the new competitors brought totally new concepts of trading, a new technology, a new approach, uh, a different way to deal with uh, major intermediaries like banks. And on the other hand, uh, Europe suffered from the crisis, so volumes came down. So this was a double confrontation, one side thus crisis volumes going down and the other, on the other side a new technology forcing an important uh, change in way of dealing at the traditional regulated exchanges. So the pressure from the ATS, the, all trade, the alternate trading systems, put pressure on the fee income of the exchanges who earn money off of the share trading each trade that trades they earn a fee so to speak is that what you're saying uh, that's partly what i want to say fees went down that's for sure but fees represent only part of uh, the income of regulated exchanges as furthermore they uh, get a lot of income from selling their quotes and their prices but here the impact is still to come from the new the ATS or the MTF, which will start to deliver a new service as from October this year, which probably will down, bring down much the prices exchanges will charge and charge still for prices they sell. So how does that happen? How does that, how is it allowed to happen, first of all? And, and what will be the outcome of how to fight that for the exchanges? Well, uh, this is a very long question. I'm a uh, very important question, by the way, but needs a long answer. I try to be short. Uh, European authorities were concerned about the competition in the securities markets and forced a new regulation. It's a little bit comparable to what took place in the United States with the national market system rules. In Europe it was MIFID which was introduced and which brought a couple of rules down like uh, the market concentration rules in some markets and allowed new trading venues to develop. And this dramatically changed the way exchanges operate as well as uh, the new, in the, the new uh, market venues uh, developed. So what happens next, Michelle? If anybody knows, I, I mean, you have to tell us. Well, uh, I mean, it's two ways. First, a forced change in the way the market has to, to behave, has to work. And of the other side is, of course, the impact of the crisis. And here it's still too early to predict. I think the impact on the market in itself would have been a very dramatic event, but coupled with the crisis, it's a little bit unpredictable. But I am not too pessimistic in this issue. Uh, markets have already adapted, the regulated market. They have allowed for a lot of techniques which are used by the MTF to take place on regulated market. And I am sure that there will be out of this crisis a lot of fruitful developments to the best of the markets. So what is the effect of these, these changes in the market on SMEs? Uh, SME may suffer in the beginning uh, because markets were used to offer a large way of a large array of services to the companies they list, SMEs included, and a lot of income from the blue chips served for the purpose of uh, developing SME markets, etc. This being said, I 
anticipate that the number of exchanges will in its present form diminish. There will be less trading venues in Europe in the traditional sense, but, and this may be good news, they will probably specialize in certain types of companies, why not in SMEs? So that in the end probably they will have a similar number but more specialized exchanges. That is an interesting perspective, ladies and gentlemen. Let me thank Michelle McKill for coming on to SNN Live. He's the former SE, uh, CEO of the Luxembourg Exchange, and now I would have to consider an expert in knowing what goes on in European exchanges, I'll tell you that much. We are at the 2012 International Stock Exchange Executives Emeriti here in Madeira, Portugal. Let me thank you for coming on to SNN Live. I thank you. It was very great to be interviewed by you. Thank you. Thanks for coming on.